Hello everyone, let's look at this function here. We have a polynomial times an exponential function. So this time is not just a power function. We have a polynomial here, 3x squared minus 8x plus 2. And then the exponential function that we have here is just a typical one. We have e to the negative 3x where the exponent is a linear function. Okay, so we are going to use integration by parts for this problem here. And so, um, we are going to set up our u, v, and then the u, d, v table here. But because just to save space, I probably need to just, just write them down like this. So let's do that. Okay, so we have, um, we are gonna let u be the, uh, the polynomial. So we are going to get three x squared minus a x and then plus two. And so our du would be the next one. And then also we have the v, right? So the v and then the dv. So we are going to choose our dv, which is e to the negative 3x and then dx. Okay, so now how do we handle this? We are going to find our du and then also we are going to find our v, right? So du is the, def the derivative of the polynomial here. We have 6x minus 8 and then quantity times the dx, right? So we have, yeah, so make sure you put parentheses right here. Okay, now the other one, the v, the v is the antiderivative of the dv. So we are going to get the antiderivative of the exponential function, which is that exponential function, but you need to cancel out the minus three that we get uh, when we multiply by the derivative of the inner function during the chain rule, right? So we are going to put negative one third here. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so now we're ready to start writing down the answer. So we have, remember the integration by parts formula is uv, right? Minus the integral of v du. So u times v, u times v is actually just those two things. So we multiply them together. So we are going to get, we are going to get uh, 3x squared minus 8x and then plus 2. And then the d, uh, the v, right? So we have negative one third e to the negative three x. Okay, so now the, the step is that we are going to write down the what the this one, right? The integral of v du with a minus sign. So we are going to put a minus sign right here. And then the integral of what the v, the v is this this negative one third e to the negative three x here, right? So we are going to put that here. So we have negative one third e to the negative three x and then v and then the du. So the du is this polynomial right here. So we are going to put that here. So we have six uh, x and then minus eight and then dx. Okay, so um, I believe we do need to just just use one step just to clean up the expression and see what's going on. So we are going to just clean up the expression. So here we are going to um, move the negative one third to the front and then we have the polynomial and then eventually we'll have the exponential function. So we'll put that here, which will give us one third. And then um, three x squared minus eight x plus two and then times e to the negative three x. Okay, so that's that. And then um, also for this one, we are going to move the polynomial to the front, but any constant that we have, we are going to move that outside the integral. And you can see that there was a minus sign in front of the integral, and then there was also a minus sign in front of the one third. So when you multiply them together, you are going to get a positive, right? So you're gonna get positive here, and then one third. And then the integral of six x minus eight times e to the negative three x, and then dx. Okay, so now let's look at this integral right here. We are we still have a product of a polynomial. In fact, this is a linear function now, but it's still a polynomial times what e to the d exponential function e to the negative three x. So we are going to do integration by parts the second time. And let me use a different color this time to do integration by parts. So we are going to say that uh, we have we are going to reuse the variables here, right? U and then du, and then v, and then the db. So our u would be, again, we are going to choose u to be the polynomial. So we will get 6x minus 8. So 6x minus 8 here. 
And then what about our dv? The dv would be e to the negative 3x. So we put that here. So e to the negative 3x and then dx. And just like before, we are going to differentiate the u, which will give us just the 6, right? So 6 and then times dx. And then integrating the dv, which is the same thing as before, we are going to get this copy from this v right here. So we are going to get negative 1 third. And then e to the negative 3x. Okay, so now we're, we are doing the integration by parts the second time, so we can continue with our problem. Um, this expression right here, uh, it's already done, right? So we just need to copy it right now. So we just copy it right here. So negative one third and then three X squared minus eight X and then plus two, and then e to the negative three X. Okay, so now this one, this one would be, there was a one third on the outside, right? So we have one third outside the integral. And then now we can, again, we are going to use the integration by parts formula, u times v. u times v is the 6x minus 8 times the negative one third e to the negative three x. I'm going to clean up the expression as I'm writing it down. So I'm going to put the coefficient first. and then the polynomial and then the exponential function. So we will have 6x minus 8, e to the negative 3x. And then now we have the important part where we get this integral here, the, the minus the integral of v and then the du. And so you can see that the v times the du, we are going to just get 6 times negative 1 third, which is negative 2. So we are going to put negative 2 here. And then what do we have here? Just the exponential function. So e to the negative 3x. And then dx. But don't forget, we still need to just end the bracket here because that will pair with this bracket. And then the 1 third is being distributed to all the terms in here. Okay, so now next step, clean up step first. So let's do that. So we have negative one third and then three X squared minus eight X and then plus two and then E to the negative three X. And then now you can start distributing the one third to all the turns in, inside this group right here. So we have one third times negative one third, which will give us negative one over nine. And then six uh, X minus eight e to the negative 3x. Okay, so now this one looks a little slightly more complicated, so you got to be more careful with the signs. Do you see that there was a minus sign here and another minus sign in front of the 2, so they will get canceled? You are going to get positive 2. But at the same time, you are going to distribute the 1 third to, the, um, to this integral here. So it's 1 third times the positive 2, which will give us positive 2 over 3. And then the integral would just be the integral of e to the negative 3x and then dx. Um, we do not need to do integration by parts anymore because we can integrate this e to the negative 3x directly without integration by parts or you don't even need substitution, right? So we can just write down the answer finally. Okay, so we have negative one third, three x squared minus ax plus two, e to the negative three x minus one over nine, six x minus eight, e to the negative three x. Now, um, let's let's see what, what this one is. We actually did it a few times already. The antiderivative of e to the negative three x would be negative one third e to the negative three x. So now you take this and multiply with the two thirds. So we have a minus sign right here. This is a positive sign. So our answer here would be minus, right? So we have minus. Now, two thirds times one third. Two times one is two. So we have two over. What do we have here in the denominators? We have three. And then the other one is also a three. So you get nine right here. So we get nine. And then what is that? Just e to the negative three x, right? So we have e to the negative three x. And then the 
the integration, the constant of integration. So we're, we have the final answer. So the integral is equal to this expression right here. Um, I'm going to use the tablet method to do this problem one more time. And we can see that that will be a lot more efficient for that one. So yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.